Hi, I'm Lauren Mulheim, and I'm the author of When Your Teen Has an Eating Disorder, Practical Strategies to Help Your Teen Recover from Anorexia, Bulimia, and Binge Eating. Today I want to talk more about Phase 2 of FBT, and in two other videos I've covered when is your teen ready for Phase 2 and kind of an overview of Phase 2. So today I want to go into a little more detail and talk about what Phase 2 is like. So first of all, it's important to keep in mind that every family is different and every child is different. And I want to reiterate that you know your child the best. Phase two is one of trial and error. You will not know for sure that your teen is ready for a specific task until you try it. So it's good to go through phase two with a wait and watch carefully attitude. So, and I also really recommend that you do small steps. So a big jump would be going from full supervision of all meals to just letting your teen do all meals themselves. That is way too big a jump in my opinion. I recommend going really gradually. So break things down and take small steps. So, for example, if you're handing back school lunches, I recommend going, giving back one day at a time. So having your teen eat with you four days a week, but allowing them maybe lunch with their friends on Fridays. And it's important that you continue your oversight and watch carefully. So you want to be sure that you're weighing them regularly. And the great thing about giving them lunch back one day a week is you can compare how they are on that day after school versus how they are in the days that you've watched them eat their lunch. And this will help you determine if, the, if you think they're eating on the day that they're doing on, it on their own. So if they're ravenous and eating much more for dinner on the nights they've had lunch on their own, then you might be suspicious about whether they're doing it. And I always suggest the parents tell the teen that if they don't finish their lunch, they should bring it home without any repercussion other than having to make up the food. So again, it's good to go really slowly, like starting with one day of lunch uh, on their own. Then if that seems to be going well, increasing it to two days a week of lunch on their own, then three and so on. And other first, forays into phase two include things like choosing a snack between A and B, very simple equivalent choices, or making their own plate from items that you provide. And it's really important that you agree with your child that if they don't portion enough, that you will correct them. And if the child has trouble accepting the correction, this means they're not ready for this step. So it means that they can try to portion their own meal and you correct them if it's not enough. And if they fuss and fight and argue, you just say to them, that's okay, you're not ready for this. We'll try again in a few weeks. And at any point in phase two, if your teen seems to be struggling, it's not a big deal. You just take back and you go back to parental oversight and then you try again in a few weeks. And it's sometimes like that, two steps forward, one step back. And it's okay, you've got time. The other thing in phase two is to um, start to relax oversight over other behaviors. So if you've been monitoring for purges and binges, you can start to slowly and gradually give your teen a little more independence, um, perhaps you know, letting them close the bathroom door um, and um, allowing them a shorter amount of time to stay with you after the meal. And again, you want to do these steps very gradually. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you'll check out my book, which is available on Amazon and via my website, Eating Disorder Therapy LA.